All right, Bridger, we'll do A. All right, so we have that one, and that one are common. So then you add them, and you get five x. And then you have these ones. So you do negative five minus three, and you get negative two, or plus negative two, but then you can simplify that to this minus two. Two. Is he good? Yeah. I mean, no. What happened? Who will tell us what happened? Yes, Hallie? He did my 5 minus 3, but you're supposed to add them together since they're both negative. Very good. Yeah, if you owe me 5 bucks and then you owe me another 3 bucks, you would end up owing me 8 buckaroos. Okay? Does that make sense, Bridget? This is very good, though. Yes? Yes. All right, B. All right, Swazzy will do B. So, these ones are common. So, it's 5x, and then these, and so, minus. Much easier than it should have been. Oh, uh, very good. That's excellent. Okay. Uh, just so you guys know, if if you see that there's a number to be distributed, you must do that first. Okay. In addition to that, you can only distribute into the parentheses that it is next to, or the one that it's being multiplied by. Right. So, in other words, do not distribute this two over here. It's only going into this first set of parentheses, okay? You'll be distributing the 5 into this set of parentheses, not this one, okay? Then after you distribute, then you can start combining these like terms. All right, so let's look at one of these examples. Let's look at F. So if I were to distribute this 2 in F, all right, so I've got, uh, what's 2 times X? 2x, very good. I keep the sign minus 2 times 10, 20. 20. And everything else stays the same, all right? And then I just solve. So how many x's are there? Uh, 2, 14. That's 14, oh. right? Yeah. 14x's. And I look at the coins. I've got 19, but I'm going to subtract 20. Or I lose 20, so then you have a negative 1. Bam! There's your answer. <laughs> Brigham will do C. So. Oh. You know that? I'm bad. I said you're a brat. I'm a pet. You're a brat. So, Burr. these are common, uh, so it's 3x <laughs> negative 1. Plus 3 is negative 2. Oh, what the heck? That was easy. Good job, Brigham. That's very good. Yes, uh, thank you, Morgan. It, it would be plus 2 because you have that negative 1 and then it's a plus 3 there. Uh, if we look at D, you've got a 1x and then you got this a negative 2x. So you're going to go down, right? You're losing x, and you'd have a negative 1x. Now at the numbers, you got this negative 4, then a plus 1 would give you a negative 3. Bam. Finally, with E, what you can do is distribute the 6. So 6 times x is 6x plus... 6 times 7, which is 42, plus x plus 3. <coughs> so I've got this 6x and this 1x, which would give me 7x's. Then if I've got 42 coins and 3 coins, I'd have a total of 45 coins. 
Done. Let's look actually at that, uh, Morgan. Thank you. If we look at D, it's negative 1x minus 3. Another way we could write this is negative x, oops, x minus 3. That's another way we can do it. You have been struggling with this perimeter stuff on some of the other assignments. Listen, if it's perimeter, all this means is that we're just adding all the very all of the stuff together, okay? <laughs> all each side. So, for example, we add this side to this length of this side and this one, okay? So, on this one, okay, all you can do, just start out by adding the x's. Don't worry about the numbers, all right? So, look at this one. I got a 3x and a 2x and a 5x. How many x's does that give us? Well, 3, 2, and 5 gave us 10 x's. Okay, now we can focus on just the numbers, the constants, so it's negative 3 and 9. If we combine those together, we would have a 6, but it's positive. Now, this question has two answers to it. This is one of them. It wants the expression, and then it wants you to give the perimeter when it is x is 5 centimeters. So, all we're going to do is replace x with 5. So, 10 times 5. Also, that's 6. There we go. 10 times 5 is 50 plus 6. 56. Very right, good. That's 56. Now, if you write 56 on the test, you'll miss points. It's 56 centimeters. Very good. There's my second answer. Bam. Here's the thing with G. G, some of you look at G and say, ah, there's not a picture. How can I do it? Draw a picture. All right, so let's draw a picture. Okay. There's our rectangle. And it says one of the sides is X plus 4 feet. So X plus 4. And the other side is 2X minus 2. Well, since it's a rectangle, this side right here is going to be the same length as this side over here. So we know that this side should be x plus 4. Likewise, this side is equal to this side, so it's 2x minus 2. Now we'll just do the same thing we did in the last problem. We'll just combine these all together. So I've got this x, these x's as well. Which gives me a total of how many x's? Six. Six x's. Right? I've got one x, two, three, four, five, six x's. Okay? And then if we look at this one as well, we've got uh, this is plus four minus two, which is two. Plus four, six. Minus two is a positive four. Four. So this is our expression, but again, it wants us to know the value of the perimeter when it's x is 7. So we just replace x with 7, so 6 times a 7 plus 4 is a 42 plus 4, bam, 46 foots.